I'm not even an envoy. Fox next keeps giving me content. Here we go. What's up, Doombots? Tony Skunjiwi here uh, with a very quick video upload uh, regarding the changes in patch 3.5 to the Blitz system. Uh, now, I've had a lot to say about this, so I took a couple hours to cool down, uh, think of things reasonably, and get back to you with an assessment of the changes they've made with mostly facts, a uh, couple opinions, but the big stuff we'll save for the end. Right now, I want to go over the pros and cons of the Blitz system. Uh, and there are pros, so we'll get straight into that. One of the biggest pros is there's a larger variety of teams at every stage of the game. Uh, great. Uh, it feels very good to start seeing very strange comps or, or, or lack of synergy teams in every set. And, and that's been wonderful so far for me. Hopefully other people also have that experience where you're seeing very weird mishmash teams at every tier on your way up through a blitz rotation. Great. Something that we wanted was to start seeing a little bit more variety in blitz. Second pro, you know, kind of in the same path, but a little different. Uh, the number of duplicate teams has gone down dramatically. And that's huge. We, we don't have to deal with triple defenders or double BKT brotherhood teams anymore. There's still the chance that you'll get three very rough synergy teams to fight, in general, but for as far as just selection of teams, there is a wider variety of, of teams, and that makes it way better than previous. And the third pro is uh, it is easier now to hit the milestones for most people. I recognize that because the multiplier started in 2-0, at the first tier, I was able to clear one more milestone on my rotation up to A3 than I normally would. And that's a big deal. That's very helpful. It's going to help a lot of people who just blitz for milestones. And it's going to give a lot of people incentive to, to just get through the opening parts of blitz, blitz very freely. So I, I like those changes. Those are very positive changes just to we clarify, larger variety of teams, uh, less duplicate teams, and uh, more points mean quicker milestones. Those are the pros. But there are some cons. And this is the point where I would say a majority of the community, uh, who cares? I'm sure there's plenty of people who don't care, would agree that maybe... Maybe these are not positive changes for the game as a whole. The, the first con is how they've changed team generation. They've created a, a situation where instead of selecting a team of value or of power equal to whatever the fight you would make, for example, in 8-3, you would usually be paired up against a team that was worth roughly 1.3 times the power of your team. Um, now, instead of selecting from a pool of teams that fit that bill, they are selecting from any pool of team that anyone has, and they are using some back-end algorithm to scale that team up. The problem I've noticed is it is a dumb algorithm and does not know how to scale, creating scenarios where you're fighting a defender's team with a incredibly overpowered uh, Punisher or Iron Fist or Luke Cage, which takes away a lot of what would be considered strategy as Blitz is unlike War, where you don't have to select among your teams, you are looking for a fight for the team you've selected and not the reverse. It does create a very strange scenario. Uh, one, because these are not the teams that were generated by players. Uh, these are not teams that represent what the community is capable of. Uh, these are teams that represent what Fox Next believes a team 
is capable of. One of the things you'll notice very early in your fights is you will start seeing tier 14 characters belonging to players, not automatically generated commander teams. And I think we can all agree that we are three days into a patch. No one is level 75, which we can check and confirm. And it is impossible to be at your tier 14 without being at level 75. So their algorithm that scales up characters on existing teams that people have chosen is creating an unfair pike in the middle of every team where it could make it so that a team that you normally would use to win cannot win anymore due to the fact that they cannot overcome one obstacle. The second con I found exists in the seven to eight tiers of the game. You are being paired against teams that the computer on their end generated that represent about 20% more than any other time in Blitz. What that means, if I had a 100k team in Blitz, I would be fighting up against, on average, a 130 to 140k team in the A3 multiplier. Those numbers vary slightly. The multipliers did change how those work in general, but more or less you would always generate a team that fit within a scale. Uh, and you could always tell that because the points you received for the fight always represented one-fifth of the total points the other team had. Um, 100,000 power team in 8-3, you would get 20,000 points. It, it's just, it's the math as it was, and I have videos to show that. What... <laughs> What you're fighting now is against a team that is 1.5 times, which doesn't seem too terrifying. If you have a 100k team, uh, you should, you're fighting up against the 150k team. That doesn't seem as unreasonable uh, for most. However, if you do happen to have a 200 plus k team, you will be fighting up against an upper 300 to 400 power team and that level of scaling is not the kind of scaling the Blitz community is used to. Uh, so making this kind of change without any notification, without telling people specifically what to be prepared for, it really, really, really creates terrible matchups. And uh, for a system in which people who care about Blitz were familiarizing themselves with either shorter win teams from casino system or s teams from my system are now reevaluating everything they did in a mode that you're supposed to want to play all the time because the fights are so unrealistic to fights that you as a player will face not could face but will face that you've removed some of the fun out of using your teams in Blitz. If you use Blitz as a testing ground, congratulations. I'm happy that this change hasn't affected you. Now the door is on the left and your opinion is no longer necessary. Most people Blitz for the unlocks. And if you're Blitzing for the unlocks and you can no longer accomplish a task, because of a change they made that they didn't prepare for. That's broken. The third is that the increasing difficulty of the higher tiers increases the amount of points you get, but not intelligently. What I mean, if I was a 100k team and I was fighting up against a 130k team, I would be pretty confident in the fact that I'd be getting somewhere in the 23 to 26k points for that win. And I would be able to build teams and accrue those points accordingly. Now, I'm fighting against a 150k team. 
And while the percentage of points stays the same, the challenge level has increased. Functionally, it appears as though they have created a hidden tier for the multiplier. Since the multiplier at 8 has not changed and still represents 4.0, all they've done is change the quality of the teams, but you're still getting the same percentage of points. But they've started the rank earlier at 2, so now I'm fighting harder teams for more points, but not more for the effort points. That's a little nitpicky, and I understand. Uh, but I'm just trying to inform people that the effort they're putting in is not worth the same amount as the effort they might have used to put in at 8.2, 8.1, even 7.3. It appears now as though the 7 multiplier has the numbers uh, roughly equal to the previous 8 multiplier, and the 8 multiplier now has a fictional 9 multiplier applied to it. Sorry, I used the word multiplier 15 times. Just trying to clear it up. The, uh, the last part, and hopefully by the time this video is out, they fixed it, is there is a dramatic disparity between the reveal of points that you uh, should accrue from a victory and the actual amount of points. Up for a moment, Foxnext made this post and said, hey, there's an issue with it displaying the incorrect amount of points. Well, that means one of two things. Uh, first, it is displaying an amount of points that is not correct on the Blitz page, which means we are actually getting less points per win, and we're just being told the harder fights are worth less points, or the fights are displaying the correct number, and they're just rewarding us with uh, less number, which was great. And that's what I believed on stream last night in our conversations with a bunch of people. I put up a whole bunch of stuff to show where the numbers were. And then I got a message from another stream. And they showed me that in a fight that told them they would receive this many points, they received this many points. So anything Foxnext said regarding not affecting the competitive nature of the game I'm now a little less inclined to be. It appears as though they have created a system that randomizes everything uh, in a way that never benefits the player. I'm going to end this with a, a disclaimer. I understand that this system is a negative effect. However, this has had no effect on me whatsoever. And I need to tell you that because I do not blitz that hard. I just blitz smart. You guys have watched my videos, you know. I am actually over where I would normally be at this point. I am four rotations in. The first two, one last night, one today. And I am about 700,000 points higher on this blitz without using any charges. Extra charges. I'm still at like 500 than I would have been. So this system, if you're of the mindset that this is going to make it so that the top blitzers in the game are, are, are now going to have a harder time, it's not, we're thriving right now. I'm making this comment because this is not about me. I'm going to succeed no matter what I do, whenever I do it. What I want to make sure is that the community doesn't fail. So, if this is the system that's in place, anyone who's struggling in Blitz will struggle more. And anyone who's interested in starting to Blitz are immediately dissuaded to do so. The rest of us, the guys who've already been succeeding, we're going to go ahead and keep succeeding with the same amount of effort or less than we have now. So, that's my closing thought. Uh, hopefully... We get some changes as remember there were pros to this so i don't think this is a ro entire rollback is necessary what i would recommend they do is keep the uh, multipliers as they did the exact same keep the team generation 
uh, the method in which they generated the opposing teams the same, keep the fact that you were fighting a 1.3 times powered team the same, and just remove this ridiculous automating system that's letting me fight a BKT team with a 140k rocket. Doesn't need to exist. Doesn't help anybody. Doesn't incentivize people to spend money. Doesn't incentivize people to compete. Doesn't incentivize anyone to do anything except not do this. And if that's what you wanted, Fox Next, if you wanted less people to blitz, I'm telling you, less people are gonna blitz, and all of those people are also not gonna buy offers. You're not gonna generate any money. Hopefully you guys watch this. Uh, if not, hopefully the rest of you who are watching this uh, agree. Well, you know, this is one, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. If you have any thoughts on this, put them in there. I made a Reddit post about it. Uh, the math adds up, but hopefully if you are succeeding in this, you recognize that it's a problem in spite of ourselves. Uh, and hopefully if you're not succeeding in this, you understand why and uh, hope that Fox Next makes the appropriate changes. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.